Hey guys, it's Doc, and today we're going to talk about fixing soil issues, nutritional imbalances, NPK issues. Hold on one sec, we'll go over it. Hey guys, this is part of a sort of a short series I'm doing, several short different videos. Make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on that little bell so it notifies you. I think we broke 50,000 subscribers. I want to thank you all, so join the crowd hit that subscribe button. If you watched the last video, one of the last videos I did was on soil tests and I did a comparison of different online soil tests and where some of the results just didn't jive, but the majority of the results told me the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that issue. Now, I had a real bad phosphorus spike about a year and a half ago. So I didn't put any phosphorus down on my ground, on my lawn for a long time. And I finally got that to come down I got to come down a little bit too low. Also, my potassium um, is a little bit low, so I need to bump that up a little bit. Now, why is my lawn so green? <laughs> if, my, if my phosphorus and my potassium are low, I have the only green lawn. My lawn is the only lawn that looks like a golf course in the whole neighborhood. Why is that? Well, it's because I'm doing supplemental feeding with super juice. That's all I'm doing is I'm taking super juice and I'm spraying it once a week, nothing else, since the fall. Now this is, this is April 9th, I believe it is. And I haven't put anything on my lawn since the fall. The only thing my lawn has gotten to this point is five treatments of Super Juice. That's it, nothing else. And because Super Juice is a 712, it has all the macros, has all the micros, it has iron and it has a uh, humic already inside of it, my lawn is beautiful looks really nice so that's why my lawn can actually look nice even though there's an imbalance but I know in my soil that there is a little bit of an imbalance I'm low on phosphorus and potassium so people laugh when I start talking about 10 10 10 and putting it on a lawn but you know what when you get all your extension reports back when you get your university soil testing back so you get all the laboratory testing back so I guarantee you the majority of those reports are going to recommend that you put some kind of 10 10 10 or 16, 16, 16 on your lawn to help correct that imbalance. I'm gonna be putting two things out and I'll show you the way I'm gonna do it. My soil correction, I doesn't need to be long-term. In other words, I don't want slow release products on my lawn to correct this imbalance. I want stuff that I put down and it goes into the ground, into the soil quickly. All right, let's talk about NPK. So you have NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Let's get rid of those two. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is the fastest moving through the soils. So it can leach out of your soil. It can basically uh, evaporate. It can just go away and it's used by your lawn really quickly. So nitrogen stays in your soil actually the, the least amount of time. Phosphorus probably stays in your, in your soil the longest because it locks into the soil. And potassium stays in there a long time. So if I put out a 10, 10, 10, I know my nitrogen is going to be going away pretty quick and my phosphorus and my potassium are actually going to stay in that soil. So I'm going to put out two things. I'm going to put out a little bit of 10, 10, 10. When I say a little bit, now remember, a 10 means 10%. So if I put out 10 pounds of nitro of this product per thousand square feet, 10% of 10 pounds is one pound. So I would be putting out one pound of nitrogen and that's too much for me. So I'm gonna put out about a quarter of a pound per thousand square feet of all three, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. The phosphorus and potassium are gonna stay in my soil. So I'm gonna be putting out, let's say uh, 10 pounds, give me one pound. So I'm gonna be putting out about two and a half pounds per thousand square feet. So if I have 16, 16 times two and a half, that's what I would put out. The other way that you can do this, that's sort of a quick way to do this. Believe it or not, this is real simple and easy. This is a product called uh, miracle Grow Bloom Booster. And this is a, a 10-52-10. So there's not a lot of nitrogen, there's not a lot of potassium in this, but there's a bunch of phosphorus in this. So it's 52% phosphorus. So this weighs four pounds. So that means, if this is four pounds, that means it's a 5-2, 50%. So two pounds of this is pure phosphorus. So I would take the two pounds and divide that by the, by 16. I'd be, I think that's like 0.12 or 0.124 pounds uh, per thousand square feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of this out, the granular, 
and then the next time I spray I'm going to add this to my spray and I'll spray this on. Now I don't want to leave this sitting on my grass so after I do the spray treatment of this I'm just going to mix this into a little bit of super juice and spray it out. I'm actually going to water it right back into the soil. I'm going to wait till my soil is not drenched and wait till my soil dries out so when I spray this it actually goes into the soil. Again, I don't want to put this on really wet soil. I want to wait till I have a few days with no rain, my soil dries out, then go ahead and spray this and then water it in and let it soak into the soil. It will lock in, that phosphorus will lock into the soil. So that's a pretty quick way. This stuff, the 10-10-10 is not a slow release, remember that. 10-10-10 is a normal fast release fertilizer. So I would say we're getting a lot of rain. It's like every day or every other day we're getting a shower. It's sprit spritting right now. It thunderstorm last night. Within two weeks, that stuff is going to be in my lawn. So I don't have to worry about it. And that's what I really want to do is I want to have a very fast fix to that issue without changing my lawn schedule. Because within a couple of weeks uh, here, I'm going to be putting down my PGF fertilizer. So don't forget, if you don't know, the PGF is a professional grade fertilizer. It's a slow release fertilizer. It's a 1608 with humic acid and iron. Great product. Just came out. We had it released this year. Uh, and I'll be putting that out next. Come the end of May, roughly, when I start to see uh, the 80 degree temperatures, do you know what we're going to switch over to? That's right. We're going to switch over to organics. So we're going to be putting organics out throughout the summer. Plus, we'll be doing either weekly or bi-weekly treatments of super juice in the 7-1-2 ratio. So, to answer the age-old question, yes, there is definitely a use for a 10-10-10 fertilizer in your young care program. I'm going to give you one other place that this is useful. If I go to someone's lawn, let's say they just bought a house, and they're like, ah, I don't want to get a soil test. And I say, okay. Well, your lawn needs three basic elements. <laughs> it needs nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Those are what we classify as the macros. So the macronutrients that your lawn needs. I'm going to tell that person to go out and apply 10-10-10, put out 10-10-10 across their whole lawn, and then after that, wait a couple weeks and start my normal lawn care program with your Super Juice, your PGF, and your organics. Remember, if I don't know, of course... I'm going to say what everyone else says, you should get your lawn tested, do a soil test. But the truth of the matter is, is that 99.999% of the lawns in America never get a soil test. So if you do not have a soil test and you haven't done a soil test, you're not going to do a soil test. Is it a bad idea to put out a little bit of 10, 10, 10? No, it's not a bad idea to put a little bit out. Again, you don't want to dump a pound of nitrogen on your lawn real fast. About a quarter of a pound is fine, so you want to figure that ratio out. So that's how we're going to correct the soil uh, out here. Again, by law, my yard is absolutely gorgeous right now. <laughs> it's really starting to green up. I'm starting to get that fairway look finally. Soil te uh, air temperatures are starting to climb up constantly in the higher 70s. It's actually I'm actually a little bit warm today. Uh, the soil temp is coming up into the 64 degree range and that's just that's Bermuda heaven man I'm just telling you the stuff is starting to explode so summarizing 10 10 10 if you don't know what yours if you haven't had a soil test on your lawn it's not a bad idea to put it out put out a little bit of 10 10 10 uh, if you need to do a correction and you have a low phosphorus level, then you can do something like this. You can go search online for liquid fertilizers and specialty fertilizers that um, contain different numbers, but man, it's hard. This is a real simple fix that you can run to. I actually ordered mine on Amazon, and I'll put a link to this at Amazon if you need this. But again, this is a 105210, so the middle number is phosphorus, so it has a lot of phosphorus in it. Uh, you can probably go on there and search if you need a different number, but again, I'm going to do a little bit of granular and a little bit of spray, and that should correct my problem. Wait about two weeks, maybe three weeks, and then continue with my regular program. That's about it, guys. Uh, don't forget, click that subscribe button. Uh, the grub video and the grub killing video, the army worm killing video, that new killer product is going to be out pretty soon. And when that goes up on Amazon, I'm telling you, that stuff's going to sell out like crazy. So you want to keep an eye out for that. Talk to you later. Doc.